head neck cancer broadly means any kind of cancer that really can occur in either the throat or the mouth, the nose, um, the neck or the skin of the head and neck. One of the things that I would tell a patient is if you've noticed that you have a lump in your neck that's been there for two weeks or more, you should see a physician. Ideally, those uh, should go away if it's related to an infection. So something that isn't getting better, even though your cold might have gotten better, is something that would warrant an evaluation. Similarly, if you've noticed that your voice has changed and it doesn't go away after a couple weeks, that would warrant an examination by an otolaryngologist so that we can make sure that your vocal cords are nice and healthy. Preventing cancer or catching it early is an important part of taking care of your own health. And so being proactive to ask for that evaluation is very, very appropriate. Because head and neck cancer can affect so much of a person's quality of life, I work with a great group of speech language pathologists as well as physical therapists to help patients with their lymphedema or swallow rehabilitation, speech rehabilitation if needed, to ensure that patients are optimized during their treatment. Thankfully, as we're learning more about these cancers, we can offer more targeted treatment. We can offer treatment that is um, even after something has come back with the intention of cure. And so for these patients, as time moves forward, our ability to take care of them and to um, give them hope continues to grow.